Okay, guys, I'm going to be teaching you the reality of knife attacks. Uh, now, I've been in two knife fights working in clubs, and I know doormen who've been in knife fights. The scariest thing about a knife is, number one, it makes no noise when you use it, it travels really fast. Whether you've got a little tiny blade or you're holding this big blade over here, it's just as dangerous and could do just as much damage. Also, whether you're a knife expert, and we see a lot of the videos where the guys oh, grab a knife or a sill, and they're doing this stuff, and they're doing this. This is not what a real knife fight looks like, okay? A real knife fight, number one, most of the people who get stabbed don't even know they're stabbed, even in the middle of a fight. One of my friends got stabbed in a street fight. He didn't know he got stabbed and totally got in the car. We drove in the car only after he knew that because of adrenaline, okay? And whether you're a knife expert or whether you're just fucking psychotic, dangerous, you know, you could be a 13-year-old, you know, crazy kid who's out to prove something, you're just as dangerous. I'm actually more scared of these guys than the guy's gonna pull out the knife and show it. A good knife fighter won't pull out his knife. You won't feel it until it's in your body, right? And he's not gonna sit there. Most knife attacks are really dynamic where the person's gonna come up to you, this is gonna go, bitch, you gotta fuck it. It's just gonna start coming completely crazy without any real, you know, technique and move and move this way. And it even becomes more unorthodox to stop this because it's just so wild and the attack is so savage. And you don't need to be an, a knife expert to do this, right? And again, how easy it is, it is to get a knife? Go in your kitchen, open your drawer and you got a knife, <laughs> you know? So it's not like it's, not like it's, it's, it's really uh, a hard weapon to, 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 uh, to get or to use, okay? And again, you know, uh, all this stuff you see, get him this way and cut him here and do this. No, a dynamic of a knife attack would look like this. I'm gonna do a scenario with you, okay? This is how it's gonna look. Ready? What's going on, man? Fuck, I remember you motherfucking you wanna fuck with me? That's how fast it's gonna go, right? That you're probably gonna get hit two or three times or maybe up to five times before the knife you realize you're getting stabbed unless you're using your awareness and I know that when, when I can see his hand, my hand comes down here. If I'm not, right, and he pulls out his knife, starts stabbing, by the time I realize the knife is out, I've actually got stabbed probably two to four times and only then it's gonna kick in, holy shit, I'm getting stabbed because I'm probably gonna feel this pumping movement, okay? I'm not gonna feel the stab wounds, I'm just gonna feel this. Okay, which probably means nobody punches like this, so it means I'm getting stabbed. You should be alert and you should be able to pick that up. Okay, now we have a knife video, which is practically two and a half hours long with full out scenarios, full out attack, static, dynamic, I mean, you know, bigger guys, stronger guys, and it's just full out attacks with the helmets, and you know, and we're using markers where you could actually see the cuts, and you see the dangers, the, the complete, dangerous aspect of being in a knife attack and why we say, you know, use your awareness, get out, diffuse. Guy wants your money, give him the money, comply. But when you gotta fight, you have to know how. You have to understand the concepts and the principles that you need to know. There's no black and white, there's no bulletproof, there's no, you know, always trap the knife, never trap the knife. It depends, right? It all depends on my attacker, depends on what's going on, right? So every situation is different.